Happy Friday, Friday Skyhawks! What a rainy morning we have today. Yep, and today is February 24th, 2023. I'm Matthew. And I'm Kimberly. And, and you're watching Skyhawk, Skyhawk News. News. Hey, did you know that Dr. Patricia Bass was the first black woman to get a medical patent? Her invention, the Laser Faco Probe, uses laser technology to treat cataracts more precisely and less painfully. Some high school proudly celebrates the accomplishments of black Americans during Black History Month. Seniors, please send in your graduation code of ethics to the ASB Bookkeeper by today. The Bookkeeper is open during lunch and after school. If you still owe money on your ASB package, please pay in full by February 28th. All packages that have a balance after February 28th will be cancelled. The father-daughter dinner is on March 11th from 7pm to 9pm. Tickets are $35. Girls, don't miss out on a super fun evening. Seniors, it's almost time to order diplomas. Please check the spelling of your full legal name as this is how it will appear on your diploma. This of names will be located in the records office, the bookkeeper's office, and some of your senior English classrooms. If there's a mistake in the spelling of your name, please see Jane Gullen in the registrar. The deadline for requesting name changes will be today, Friday, February 24th, 2023. Interested in MathCon, this is a national competition where you can get grants, awards, and scholarships. The test takes less than an hour to complete, and students who participate in the second round can fly to Chicago. Register before March 6th in F105 or F206. Seniors, if you have at least a 2.0 GPA, don't miss out on your chance to be selected for local scholarships. The local scholarship application will be available in the counseling office starting today. All applications are due no later than March 27th by 3.30 p.m. The paper application must be submitted along with the online version. See your counselor for more information. Matthew, are you ready to graduate? I don't know. It's happened so fast. I don't remember freshman year. Oh. We're so old now. We are. Anyways, let's hear about some news for the upcoming events for our freshmen on this week's Linked Up. Hey freshmen, it's Brooklyn, your friendly neighborhood link group leader, and we just have a couple of events coming up, so we wanted to let you know on the information we have. So next month we're gonna be having a wake-a-thon, so be on the lookout for a date coming up. You can follow our Instagram at Summit Link Crew, and then we also have a carnival in April, so just be on the lookout for those dates. Also, freshmen, if you haven't noticed already, we've been pulling some of you out to um, encourage you on staying on track with your grades and requirements for graduation. So um, we just want to encourage you to stay on track and come to C104 to get paired up with any Link Crew leader for tutoring or just mentoring um, throughout your day. So. Matthew, do you know how many electoral votes you need to win? At least like 10. Mm, try again. 12? Try again. 13? Uh, you're a little cold. 25. 270. Oh. Let's see if you can learn something with this week's Getting School. Hey guys, this is Getting School. I'm Isabel. I'm Isabel. Sorry, I'm Alex. And this is Getting, Getting schooled. schooled. And this is Clarissa. And Leilani. Alexis. David. What city was the first capital of the United States? <laughs> um, you can ask her first. Um, Washington. Wait, what was the question again? I'm going to say like... New York. <laughs> New York? Yeah. So Washington or New York? <laughs> uh, Washington. Um, Washington. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna go with Washington too. Washington. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, you. Is that your final answer? That's my final answer. Fine. What ancient invention allows you to see through walls? To see through. Uh, see. Glass. See through, like through walls. Oh wait. For ancient, ancient, they they could see through walls. Damn. What? See. Go. <laughs> Wait, glass? Thanks for it. Yeah, uh... Dang, what? I don't even know, like... Blueprints? Oh no, not mirrors. Oh, windows! 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 Windows? Windows. <laughs> Damn, huh? <coughs> what a... Um... A mirror. I mean, a uh, glass. You can see through. You can see through glass. <laughs> Is it not? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. What about yours? Oh, my nose. What building has the most stories? 
Empire State. Empire State Building? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, what was the question? The Eiffel Tower? The Eiffel Tower? Mm -hmm. That's your answer? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. What's that one? Like the, the Wiz Khalifa, the Burj Khalifa thing? A library. Is that your final answer? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then was that your final answer? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, the Taj, uh, the, no, what's it called? Uh, Khalifa, <laughs> the Burj Khalifa? What's Khalifa? Yeah, the, Bur the Burj Khalifa. Like the rapper? Thing. Yeah. Uh like like the Khalifa building. The Khalifa building? Yeah, the Khalifa building. That's your final answer? Yeah, that Burj Khalifa thing. If you guys want to be in gaming school, follow our Instagrams right down below. And if you don't see us next week, call for help. Now moving on to Ava with sports. Hey Skyhawks, I'm Ava Turner and I'm here to help you. Dig into this week's sports section. After a win against Los Osos last week with a score of 8-4, our girls softball team were confident for their upcoming games. They sadly lost their game against Rancho on Saturday with a close score of 3-2, which motivated them to play hard in their tournament games on Monday. The girls won against Heritage with a score of 8-4 and Harupa Valley with an outstanding score of 26-0. The girls also played on Wednesday against Los Osos again. Our swim team is in the pool practicing hard for their upcoming meets. Our boys volleyball team played their first game of the season yesterday against Fo High. They are now working hard on the court practicing for their next game on Monday. Good luck boys. Our baseball boys unfortunately lost their game on Friday against Cajon, but were right back on the field Saturday pulling out a win against Palm Desert with a score of 7-5. On Tuesday, they sadly lost again with a score of 0-2 against Rancho. The boys will now spend the rest of their week training for their games next week to ensure some wins. Let's meet our varsity baseball coach in this week's Meet the Coach. I'm Coach Jose Enriquez. This is my sixth year at Summit High School. Uh, I'm the varsity outfield coach. Uh, what inspired me to start coaching, uh, I think when I was done playing, I just wanted to be around the game more and then pass down all the knowledge that I got from my coaches down to the next generation of baseball players. Uh, a lot of communication. A lot of communication, you know, whether I want, you know, I want to take time to myself or, you know, with the staff. Especially during baseball season, we're pretty we're pretty busy all year round anyways. So I think it's just a lot of communication and a lot of planning ahead of time it really helps. So my for my object, I brought a frame given to us after the 2019 season. This was our first season that we won a league championship in the history of some high school. So this was a pretty good achievement as a coach, you know, to uh, to be part of this special group and pretty much to start the the dynasty of Summit baseball. Shout out to the Summit Baseball staff, all the staff. Uh, shout out to especially, you know, Coach JG for mentoring me, Coach Duggins for being my coach, uh, Coach Lopez for, uh, you know, giving me the opportunity to coach with them. Shout out to all the, you know, uh, past players that I've coached. Shout out to all the current players that I coach right now. And uh, shout out to my girl Jasmine for always putting up with my busy schedule, so. Our boys tennis team were on the courts Wednesday through Saturday last week, pulling out win after win in an Etiwanda tournament. They played again on Wednesday at Ontario and were right back on the courts training for their game today. Let's see which of our talented boys is serving it up as this week's Athlete of the Week. I'm Andre Cisneros, and I'm this week's Athlete of the Week. I 
I picked Andre to be this week's Athlete of the Week because he's been working really hard um, ever since the season started and he's been improving really rapidly. Um, and he's also been pushing his teammates to work just as hard as him and just help the entire team overall to improve. I feel pretty honored, you know, I've done sports my entire life, so getting recognized for doing this is pretty cool, especially for a sport that I think I'm like relatively good at, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I feel that this team has a lot of potential, you know, most of them are relatively newer, last year they were on JV, now they're on varsity, but I think they have a lot of potential in that they've been excelling this year, we did pretty good in the Wanda tournament, so I think that our season's going to be pretty well, I think we're going to make CIF go pretty far in that as well. Um, I'm pretty excited. My goals for this season are to reach CIF for sure, you know, at least make it out of round one, try to get around two, anything after that is pretty much, pretty much extras. Um, as well as that, you know, getting a positive record, uh, winning league for sure. But yeah, overall just having fun to be honest, just being able to play alongside my friends and have a fun season. So people who I want to shout out, first and foremost, you know, my family, they've been supporting me ever since I was a kid, you know, just supporting me in any sport I did. Next, I would go with my, my, team, my teammates this year. They're pretty supportive, you know, they're, they're really fun, really fun people to be around. Last year's team for sure. Uh, any friends that have supported me, my girlfriend Faith, she's been really supportive and yeah. The other season hasn't started yet. Our track and field team is training hard for their upcoming races. Let's see how the team is looking in preseason and in all access. We have one game today, Skyhawks. Our boys tennis team will play at Harupa Valley. Well, that's all I have for you this week, Skyhawks. I'm Ava Turner, and now that you're all set with sports, let's pass it over to the news. See you guys in the court. Well, that's, well, that's all, all for you, for you this, this week, week Skyhawks. Skyhawks. I'm Matthew. And I'm Kimberly. And this has been Skyhawk Skyhawks News. News. See you on Tuesday. Previously on Gamer of the Week. My name is Jason Timothy Schwanger, and I'm this week's Gamer of the Week. Yes, you do. Eat up. Eat up, piggies. Real people. I'm only into 2D. <sighs> I can finally take this thing off. <gasps> Kitty! Kitty! Yes! Oh, yeah. Hey kid, I think I dropped something. Oh, what, what is it? My pants.
Yeah, I was actually folding laundry. See? Really? Yeah. Oh my gosh! I love that about you! I know. I'm a good boy. Doing my chores. Haha! <laughs> uh, hold up. I... My mom's calling. Oh, don't worry. Take your time. All the time you need. I'll be waiting. <gasps> oh my god! No, no, it's okay! I love this about you. I love this side about you. Really? It's better this way. Even if I look like this? It's, it's just get some cat ears, and it's fine. It's perfect. On, no one really loves me the way I am. I'm but, different. I'm your googly bear, remember? <gasps> really, Pokey? Shmoopsy poo. Let's go! Yes! I did it! I'm the chosen one! What? No! No, go back! Go back! Please! Please! School time. I'm not taking my glider on the battle bus this time. Someone love me. I need help. I'm so... Jesus? My child, your situation has brought a tear to my eye. Please, I, I need to find love. Can you help me? Baby, you're a parking ticket because you're so fine. You mean that? I do mean that. I think I could do this. You Thank you. Me. I believe. Yes! Oh, I can't wait. Hey, I'm Timmy. Are you a keyboard? Because you're just my type. <laughs> I'm Matthew, and just, what are you looking for in a relationship? I'm trying to get serious, man. I'm just looking for a duo. Did you know that Timmy is a world-class gamer? Oh yeah, what's your rank? I'm glad you asked. I'm actually a diamond in league. <laughs> Pitiful. I smurf your pee. Yeah, um, no. <laughs> I hope not for me. I hate this game. Sorry, I bought installing. Cause of you. Me? Cause of you. I didn't do anything. You're just crazy, man. You're crazy. <laughs> Is that the new My Hero Academia chapter? You kiss your mother with that mouth? First of all, Boku no Hero Academia. Second of all, it's a volume. <laughs> One of the otakus, I swear. Move it, buster. Move it. Get out of my sight. This Timmy guy, so creepy, making me super uncomfy. Jason Timothy Schwanger, the office needs you. They want me. Take a seat, Timmy. Okay. We've been getting multiple complaints about your recent behavior. I'm just completing side quests. You're just what? Completing side quests. Say that again? Just side quests. Side quests, all right. So, um,. You know, that's the behavior you need to stop acting up. I'm just trying to find love, Mr. Mario. I think you just need to go and uh, maybe touch some grass. Grass? What, what's that? Grass. Hmm. <sighs> I need to change. What is this? Bro, she wants me so bad. I've made a severe and continuous lapse of my judgment. Uh, I don't expect to be forgiven. I'm, I'm just here to apologize. There are a lot of things I should have done differently, but I didn't. I want to apologize to the internet, and I want to apologize for making that the worst video that you have ever seen. Um, I'll be better. But most of all, I want to apologize to my dog. I'm so sorry, Maggie. I'm sure she would forgive me. Like you guys will, too. Pray, Maggie. Isn't she just the cutest? Hmm. Why were you out of frame?